Hello there, and welcome to the show. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Boo. <laughs> no, if you're going to say right. something or just not. Just took a drink of Pepsi. And... <laughs> um, tonight, I was, I'm was. i going to start off by answering a question that I've gotten a few times. Um, it shouldn't take very long to answer, so we'll go ahead and do it first. I got a question. How do... Haley and Dusty, which Haley is Bennett's wife and Dusty is Stephanie's husband. How do they get along with Craig or what's the dynamics of their relationship? Honestly, I never really thought of it at all very much because it just all happened so naturally. Dusty just fit right into the family and I guess Craig's part of the package, but I don't he never acts uncomfortable around Craig. He'll talk to Craig, of course, you know, with Craig. He doesn't have a lot of long conversations with anyone other than really Joe or I or Stephanie and sometimes Bennett. And I wouldn't call them long, but more more conversing than he does with most people. Yeah. Yeah. With Haley, Haley has a little brother who has ADHD. So I feel like Haley came into this being familiar with the situation. And I don't really think anything that Craig does shocks her. She never acts uncomfortable. They've both been here for like they two years in a row, all the kids have. I've deemed it the Vanderveer Christmas retreat and all the kids spend the night, either we spent the night one year at a cabin and this last year we spent it at our house. And so everyone was together for an extended period of time and there were no issues. I I never noticed anyone feeling uncomfortable with Craig. No, they've seen his they've seen his reactions to situations and everything, right. his frustrations and they understand them. They've it's, seen him in his best and his worst. Yeah. And I guess I've never felt like they were uncomfortable with it, or I've never felt the need to explain anything to them either. I can tell when people are uncomfortable with it. I've had 30 years of experience of that. Yeah. Uh, that's why I choose doctors the way I do, because I won't take Craig to a doctor that I feel, I can always tell if they're uncomfortable with it or they don't know how to talk to him. And then I, I won't go back again. The doctor we have now is wonderful. I go back to Knoxville, even though we live in Des Moines, and there's hundreds and hundreds of doctors here. I'll continue to go to Knoxville as long as we can. And the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was Craig has just not been himself the last few days. He's been grouchy and sometimes like flat. Like I feel like he just, he he hasn't shown the joy that he usually does. He has a, He was really excited about the movie yesterday. He did talk about that quite a bit to Joe and I, but I feel like he got he got really mad at Joe because he didn't take the laundry out of the dryer fast enough. Oh. And, he, and he came out and yelled at him. And he got upset at the end of our, we did a tritreats.com video yesterday, which I'll be getting out soon. And he got upset at the end of that and went up to his room. He didn't, he has not been having meltdowns. He's just grouchy. That's he, the best way I can put it. He's a growly bear. And today, I thought maybe today would help because we were back to our regular routine. We went to Indianola to take the cans and bottles back to Walmart there. And we went to eat at A&W, which was his choice. And... We also, we were going to go to the YMCA, but we never made it there because lunch went fine. Craig wasn't very talkative, but our next stop was Walmart to take the pop cans and bottles to recycle them. And he was really grouchy there. And like, okay, to be honest, taking the cans and bottles back is always a trigger for Craig. He loves doing it but there's always something wrong with the machines. And even the machines that are working, they keep spitting the can back out or the bottle back out. And all those things annoy Craig. <laughs> but today was worse. Um, he squeezed my arm pretty hard. And I felt like he just didn't really have any control of it. I mean, you can tell with Craig. 
and it was, I don't even think he knew he was doing it. So I, I told him, you know, if, if you keep acting like this, we are going to go home. And that worried him quite a bit and he did get better. He didn't want to go home. Um, but when we got into Walmart, he just, everything just made him grouchy. And finally he said to me, oh, my head hurts. It feels like there's a jackhammer. And I realized Craig was probably grouchy because he had a really bad headache, but he didn't tell me. And my question for everyone is, do you have that issue with your children with autism or family members? Do they tell you when they don't feel good? I feel like with Craig, often he doesn't want to tell us he doesn't feel good. He'll tell me he doesn't that he has a headache when it's really bad. But for the most part, I'll say to him, "Are you? Do you not feel well?" No, 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 I'm fine. Like he just, he doesn't want to admit it, which I think is is not uncommon among men, <laughs> because <laughs> Joe doesn't like to admit if he doesn't wow. feel good. He likes to downplay any health issues, <laughs> and he's not the only male I've came across that is that uh, way. Finny has to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> he won't get down. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's true. You, huh. you don't what? you don't like you don't like to go to the doctor or you didn't. Now you have to. But you yeah. I don't know in the 30 how many years we've been married? 36. Let's let's go back. Okay, so when after we've been married 30 years, I don't maybe Joe had been to the doctor once. Maybe once you had a cold. A bad cold. Oh, I had walking pneumonia. Yeah, and so you went to the doctor for that. They tried but, to keep me. Yeah, but they didn't. I told them, you're gonna, you're gonna have to pin me down. <laughs> so I had to actually pull out the. Can you legally make me stay here? <laughs> and they said no. I said okay, dismiss me. I'm going home. So that's stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's why when i my heart attack that's why they strapped me down in the in the helicopter because i think they thought halfway there i was gonna say now nah, i changed my mind i'm going back home so that ended <laughs> joe's streak of not going to the doctor yeah, yeah i just wondered if that's an issue with anyone else because it made me start thinking about okay on the days when craig has a short fuse is he maybe not feeling good does he have a headache i mean i have headaches a lot from my allergies and i know you get more irritated when you don't feel good. Yeah, Craig will usually tell us if we're home and he has a headache. Yeah. He'll come in and you can just tell he's already, he's, he's got like two fingers pushing on his head. I have a headache, you know, he's wanting headache medicine. But usually when we're out and about, I can't, I can't think of when he's ever said that before. I can't either, that's yeah. the first time that he told me that. So I think it must've been really bad. And it made me feel really bad that I didn't realize that and didn't give him medicine sooner. After he took the medicine and it's kicked in, his day got better. He has been tired, a lot more tired today, but Craig is on Wisp, he's on Risperdone. Um, it helps with his impulses and it helps the meltdowns to not be as often and not as bad. And we definitely have noticed a difference, yeah. but the downside is some days it makes him really tired. Not every day, but today I've noticed he's really tired and maybe that's from the headache too, but, uh, that is a downside of that medication. That's the only thing we've seen. That's the only negative side effect that we've seen. And I think that's worth it for the change that it's made for us because it allows Craig to go out more and it allows us to take him places without being so afraid that he's going to have a meltdown over Start something. Risk, Craig on Risperdone, not long before we took our train trip because we were really afraid of how Craig was going to react on the train. Very it, confined space. And Craig likes to have some room. Trains are known to have Break a lot downs. of delays. Yeah. <laughs> and we, before we went, we watched a lot of train videos. And in several of them, there was like a seven hour delay where they were stuck in a town. And the thought of that is was frightening <laughs> with Craig because Craig hates lateness and delays. So we still don't know what would happen because our train was on time. We didn't have any delays. 
Yeah, which is amazing for Amtrak. God was watching Anytime. out for us. He was looking Anytime. over us. Anytime you go from Chicago to, well, we stopped, we stopped just short of LA. We stopped in Fullerton and we got there actually 10 minutes ahead of schedule. Yeah, we had a pretty smooth. Never heard of we that. We do notice that Craig doesn't usually get as upset about things as he used to. Yeah. Today but, was different, but I think it's because he had a bad headache. Yeah, yeah. So to get back to that, things worth worth thinking about is, you know, we need to be a little more dig diligent, especially probably within the first half hour after we leave the house, making sure, you know, like I said, I'm not sure if I've ever asked Craig, Craig, do you have a headache mm -hmm. outside of the house? Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to have to get a little bit more diligent on making sure that we we ask him about stuff. Right, and finding out. Not just, Craig, are, are you are you feeling okay? I don't think that's a question. No, it's too that, broad. Yeah. Of a, so we're going to we're gonna try to get that more to where we're asking Craig, do you think, does your stomach hurt? Craig, do you have a headache? And, and get more matter of fact like we that. We need to be very specific when we're asking him the question, but not just say, do you feel okay? Because I think he'll usually say yes. But if you ask him if he has a headache, this dog. <laughs> but if we ask him if he has a headache, there's a better chance of him answering us. So I would take any advice if, or anyone, if you have any experience with this, um, leave a comment. I'm sure other parents have dealt with this issue before too. And also it's made me really think a lot more as I guess I've been thinking a lot more about it in the past few months as to figuring out what's causing the meltdowns, not just being frustrated by them and trying to get them to stop, but actually trying to pinpoint what causes each one. And I definitely think Craig not feeling good today was the cause of his meltdowns. He didn't have a full on meltdown, but it was going in that direction. But I think all in all, Craig ended up having a good day once he got started feeling better. And we had a fun mail vlog and Craig enjoyed that. And I want to take a chance to say thank you. Um, I think it was Tamara that sent me these beautiful scarves. There's one behind us on the couch. Uh, those were my scarves. All right, would you you want to model it? Look how beautiful they are. <laughs> They're kind of tight though. <laughs> and I also wanted to say thank you to Ben Wiley. He sent me these this big bag of cinnamon bears, which are quite delicious. He was paying attention when I said that I was looking for cinnamon candy and having a hard time. And he sent me those cute little bears. And Any, Anybody old enough to have ever went to any of the 70s hair bands? All the guys wearing their, their scarves and everything. I'm going to just think of whoever you want. I'm going to slow it down now, folks. I'm going to slow it down. They take it off and they throw it to the, somebody in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I do not huh. recall that. <laughs> huh. But I didn't watch a lot of hair bands or bands in general. So. Sticks. <laughs> Sticks. Not number one. The best. And someone else sent me these. They are Jelly Belly cinnamon bears. I ripped the package, so I put them in this baggie. But these are very tasty and have a lot of cinnamon flavor. So I just wanted to thank the viewers for being so kind to think of me and send me these gifts. And with that, I think we will say so long. Now it's time for so long. No, wait, that's Blue's Clues. He's all over the place, people. <laughs> We're going to sing Hair bands, one Blue Clues. Song. <laughs> so please stay tuned for the rest of the video. Not the rest of the song. Yeah, not the rest of the song. <laughs> Let's sit over here, Greg. I've never sat on that side before. Is it right there?
What are you What are you thinking about getting? Is that the barbecue bacon cheeseburger? Yeah. Do you see one on the menu? Where do you see it? I just saw it on the poster oh. on the side. Well, we can ask them about it. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Okay. And I think I'll probably just have the Coney dog because I like it a lot. So I usually get it when I come here. Craig, you've been talking a lot about Elemental mm -hmm. and how much you like it, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's one of your favorite Disney movies so far. You yep. like it so much. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Elements cannot mix, you know. Element City, where there's fire, water, air, and earth. What do you think the moral to the story is? Difference can be fun. It's a good moral. Mm -hmm. Do you know who does the voiceovers in that movie? Well, there's Catherine O'Hara. I don't know what their voice actors are. That's okay. What's the funniest part of the movie? Where Wade tasted the charcoals. What'd he say? He's the food inspector. Oh. See? He likes it. <laughs> I have another question. Have you ever watched Bob's Burgers? No, I didn't. You haven't? Oh. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. That's okay. Have you ever rode Haunted Mansion? Yes. Yes, I do. What do you think of that ride? Scary. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the ride? The singing bus. The life here after. Oh, yeah. The singing bus. Yeah. The life here after. Is that where they're dancing in the ball? Yep. Yeah. That's my favorite part, too. Mm -hmm. All right, Craig. Someone wants to know, do you wake up and go to bed at the same time every day? Yeah. What time do you wake up every day? At five o'clock. And what time do you eat breakfast? About 6.30. Oh, I thought it was 6.26. 6.26. And what time do you go to bed at night? Around 9.30. So Craig chose the barbecue bacon cheeseburger today. And here's a little... And he got some onion rings. I have french fries and a coney dog. It all looks delicious. So how was the first bite? It tastes delicious. Need a little ketchup for your fry, for your onion rings. Can you pause that? <laughs> yes, I'll have a vanilla on a cone, please. Craig, yeah. can you give me a review of A&W? Yes, A&W is the best restaurant. The barbecue bacon cheeseburger tastes delicious. The waitress seems nice. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and a Craigie Fanver seal of approval. Thank you. It's time to recycle. One of Craig's favorite things to do. Craig came in and went right to work. We have been informed that the plastic machines are working, but the cans aren't. So we will have to go to hy V to do our cans. We're almost done with the bottles. The can machines aren't working. If there is one activity we do that Craig gets upset at the most, it's taking back the recycling. He loves to do these. He loves to put the bottles and cans in the machines. However, when they don't work, he gets very upset. He's not having a meltdown, but he's very tightly wound right now. He's overwhelmed, but he won't quit. But we're getting through it. And he's almost done. Okay, there's something that frustrates him. It's not working. Okay, maybe that one just doesn't work. Hold Let's on. see if we can find the... We probably should get some sinus medicine too, because that's probably part of your headache. Get some of this. 
Look at that. All right, so Craig, he's been a little off today. He's been getting upset easily, more yeah. easily than usual. And he just told me that he has a really bad headache, and which could have something to do so with it. Yeah, but he just told me. That's the hard part about autism is that they don't always tell you what's going on and until it's gone on for a while. Usually no. if I ask Craig if, how he feels, he says fine. And if I asked him if he has a headache, he'll say no. But this is a time when he did tell me, so hopefully this he will help. some ibuprofen and some sinus medication. And Why are you hopefully that up? will make Craig start feeling better. Yeah. All right, we're headed for the fruit. We need some fruit at our house. Craig, do you want to get some bananas? Oh no, let's get the ones that aren't in that wrap. Let's get, those are organic. We don't need organic. There some around there. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we need. I think I'm going to want to get a watermelon, some raspberries and some blueberries. All right, there we go. Keep those in the cart. Is there any kind of fruit that you'd like to get? No. Okay. Craig's helping me get a watermelon. We got some really good watermelon the last time I got one here, so I'm gonna give it another try. Cherries are ridiculously expensive, but also one of my favorite things. I don't know if Craig will eat them. If he doesn't like that they have seeds in them. It's Craig and it looks like he found a DVD. What'd you get? This. Mickey and Friends, 10 okay. Classic Shorts, Volume Can 2. Can I see? Oh, no, no, not in there yet. Let's see. Oh, that looks like a fun one. Yep. These are kind of interesting that we found at Walmart. It says they're surprises. There's some of them open so you can see what's inside. That looks like there's a like a bracelet I've seen. I think this one I saw, maybe it's a magnet. Or else this, oh, the gremlins had one open. I, I don't know if that's a pin or a magnet, but it looks like there's a little lanyard there unless those are shoelaces. But these are fun. Craig, do you want to pick one of them out? No. No? Well, Craig doesn't want to try it, so. These are cute, too. <laughs> Little cabbage patch kid cars. Garbage pail crashers. Cute. They just keep coming up with more and more cute things all the time. What do you think of those, Craig? They're all garbage pail to me. I think Livy might like that. I'm gonna keep that in mind for her. <laughs> it just looks like something she would like. Hey, Craig. This is, it's for a charity, but it's, they want you to vote which game hero is the most awesome. You can choose Sonic or Mario. Oh, here. Which one do you I choose? Mario. Okay. Craig likes these for some reason. We have a couple of them, and they have some mystery packets. So I think Craig wants to get one. We'll do that when we get home, okay? Yep. Here's here's a look at our Walmart haul for today. Recycling round two. <laughs> we came back to Walmart to do it our cans. Hopefully it's working. All right, it's working. That's going to make my day a lot easier and make Craig a lot happier. Taste test coming soon. <laughs> I also got some beautiful flowers to make an arrangement with. Time for some Monday mail. Need some help? 
We got quite a bit in there, don't we? Craig's ready to open his packages, but first he wants to open his surprise toy that we bought at Walmart today. Oh, I love that Dolly. one. Dolly. What's his name? Dolly. Dolly? Yep. Let me see. Can you hold it up so you can see it better? It's pink and blue and it has a dolphin. Yep. Well, that one looks so sweet. Mm -hmm. Now your mama elephant has another baby. Mm -hmm. That's what Craig has. And another thing we're going to do, we're going to do a taste test to see what this Mountain Dew tastes like. We usually buy diet, but they didn't have diet in this, so. What does it taste like? Watermelon. It does taste like watermelon? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, it does taste like watermelon. It tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's what it tastes like to me. Here's a little better look at the bottle. This was at Walmart in their cooler section. All right, Craig, you want to get busy opening these now? Craig's had a little bit of a headache today. Well, actually, I should say a big headache. But he thinks he's feeling better. What is it? Hmm. He told me what it's a cherry. Let's see. I can see on the back of the package. It's gourmet juju cinnamon bears. Oh. That's because I love cinnamon, I bet. Craig does too. Craig's going to open it so we can try them out. Someone told me they were sending some cinnamon candy for me. Mm. Give me one to try. Thank you. Ooh. Those are good. What do you think? It's good. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll save those for later. Mm -hmm. Was there a, anything in with it? Was there a, in that bag that's on the, there? Was there any tags or anything in there? A gift for you. As a Wiley, try to get your, the Wiley brand, hit cinnamon licorice. But alas, I could not. Hope to are a fair, fair replacement from now. Keep having a great day from Ben Wiley. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Ben Wiley. Yes, thank you so much. These are amazing. Oh, bacon cheeseburger socks, Craig. Dropped it. And Ren Stimpy. Let's see. Here's the socks. And there's Ren and Stimpy. A Century Pike Gumballer. Oh, that's cool. This is cool, Craig. You're going to like this. Pinky in the Brain. It's a cute magnet. That'll be fun to put on the fridge or the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have anything magnetic in your room. Right. Put that there. Okay. Hey, Craig. I hope you're doing well, my boy. I just wanted to send this stuff to you because I figured you would like it, being a cartoon expert and all. <laughs> I love all your videos and watch you every week. Enjoy the stuff. Say hi to your amazing mom and Joe for me. Uh -huh. You'll have a great family here. From your, first, your, from your friend, John. A.K.A. Love for the 90s on YouTube. Thanks, John. Craig, can you tell us anything about Pinky and the Brain? I know you used to watch it. Yeah, it's a spinoff of Animaniacs. Who does the voices? Rob Paulson and Maurice LaMarche. Can you say, do you know a line from... Hey, Brain, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. <laughs> That's right. I know that one, too. What year did Pinky and the Brain come out? 1995. I'll be Scrooge McDuck. Let's see. I love it. <laughs> you love Scrooge McDuck, don't you? Yep. What does Scrooge McDuck say? I love me money. <laughs> Who did the voice of Scrooge Alan McDuck? Alan Young. Very good. <laughs> that looks perfect on you. Yep. I love that. 
who who sent it doesn't say who sent it, but I know I have an email that tells us who did. Thank right. you from us so much for whoever sent this t shirt. A gift for you. For Nancy, since I heard you like cinnamon flavored things and anyone else willing to try them, enjoy and keep having a great day from Connor. Well, thank you, Connor. Cinnamon bears. Oh. It's for you. Let's try them, Craig. These are like sugared little bears. We love Jelly Belly brand. I don't think I've ever had their cinnamon bears before. You give me one. There we go. Do I have to pause that, bud? Mmm. Those are really good. What do you th What do you think of them, Craig? They say spicy cinnamon. You like them? Yep. Mm-hmm. They do have a, a little bit of a bite to them, but I like it. Australia by train. Mmm. That's a book we're gonna have to look at. I'm telling you, Australia is far, far away. Yeah, it'd be a long train ride. <laughs> mm -hmm. It would be so fun to see, though. Mm -hmm. What kind of things do you think we'd see in Australia? Kangaroos. Yeah. Anything else? Wombats, emus. Maybe Tasmanian devils. Yep. What kind of foods do you think we'd eat in Australia? Vegemite. <laughs> yeah. Australian candy. Mm-hmm. And the meat pies. Yep. We need to go back to the Valley Junction Farmer's Market so we can try some different ones. Yep. All right. I'm going to put that over there, and we'll look at it more later. I'm going to see a note with that. So whoever sent that, thank you so much. All right. And this package, where's this package from, Craig? Where did I tell Ireland. You? Yeah. Oh, good. There's a card. Dear Craig, we absolutely love to watch your shopping adventures and food reviews. My name is Austin. I have autism too. Okay. I have an older brother older bro who has ex expenditures. Asperger's? Asperger's. Is that what it says? Yeah. I'm so happy to see someone just like me oh. on YouTube. I send you a big fat sea lion because I live on the <laughs> wild Atlantic way. On the coast of Dunk Donegal. We have a lot of sea lions here. I hope you like the t shirt too. You can wear it on S. on St. Patrick's Day. I think of us. I think of us. I have two younger siblings to, to who watch your channel. Keep on having a great day. Love from Jack Austin Elfin and Ellie's. Thanks, kids. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is a really cool present. Well, I'll be. Let's see. Is that? It's, <laughs> it's perfect for you. Grogu St. Patrick's Day shirt. Let's see that sea lion. Uh, it is a sea lion. Oh, this is cute. I don't think I've ever seen a stuffed animal like this. Now that is squishy, Craig. Yep. Here. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Jack, for everything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We're going to have to try that shirt on. I like it. <laughs> He's such a cute little St. Patrick's Day Grogu. An Irish Grogu, Craig. What do you think he would say? Happy St. Patrick's Day. He's clapping his hands. Is the tail the best part? Yep. Bits, bitty pops. Oh, we haven't gotten any of those yet. I saw those somewhere and thought they were really cute. They're like miniature Funko Pops. What one is that, Craig? 
looks like Mickey Mouse. Yep. Nope, oh, it does come out of there. Let me see. How cute is that? Gosh. That's beautiful. Beautiful. It looks like a watercolor. I wonder if this is for me. <laughs> it's for you. It's so pretty. It's Please. it's like a scarf. That is so pretty. Let's see if is there a oh there's more in that box, Greg. <gasps> and there's could very well be a card in there, like a oh yeah. I like it when they put them in envelopes. A gift for you. Nancy, I think the, the world's greatest mama deserves something special. Aww. Love from your fan, Tamara from Tamara S. Syracuse. Thank you so much, Tamara. This is a beautiful scarf. I can't wait to wear it. And there's a bag, too. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, I think it's another scarf. I should probably have you. Oh, look, sunflowers. I love sunflowers. In fact, Joe and I were just talking today about I want to get some metal sunflower sculptures to put at the bottom of our hill against our fence. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Tamara. One last one. Dear Craig and family, greetings from your friend in New York North Carolina. North Carolina. Please enjoy my gifts for me today. I sent some the links and moon pies for you to taste test. Mm -hmm. Enjoy you all make the wor world a more beautiful place. Love from North Carolina, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Moon pies. That's a lemon one. We didn't get to try the lemon one. Yeah. Stephanie's going to be jealous. I think he likes it. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Craig? Tastes like lemon. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. A Super Mario Bros. shirt. Turn it around. That's a really great one. That's a really nice water bottle. I've actually been looking at buying one of those, so... Thank you so much, Lisa. That looks perfect on you. Say something that Mario would say. Mamma mia! <laughs> when we were at Walmart today, we took a vote on who was better, Mario or Luigi, didn't we? Sonic, you mean. Oh, Sonic, yeah. You'll see that in the video. Yep. I think that the lemon moon pie is the best moon pie. I'd buy a box of those. That's really good. And as you can see, Craig's enjoying it too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, everyone, for all of these wonderful gifts and for spoiling me with cinnamon bears and these beautiful scarves. Happy birthday, Michael Mathis. We hope you had a great day. We hope you have a great day. I've hey. been poisoned. <laughs> What's happening? The popcorn. The brain popcorn. Who told you the popcorn was brain popcorn? The natural geyser goes off. Dad did. Dad. You monster. You beast. <laughs> Do you know I'm kidding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you horrible beast. In my heart.
My heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star shining and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast. I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. Other times, I, my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I can touch in the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hard and loud. This is when my heart is mad. But other times, my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. On harder days, means would hurt my feelings, and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra, extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days my heart feels as heavy as it's an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head. My tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. But my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a planet, plant reaching towards the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck. And I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra, I hop around like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. Sometimes I head hide my heart away when no one can see. Like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look up at me. Save for my swing. I can watch the world from ab up above. This is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings. And yours can too. Today my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? And this is Craig A. Vavers saying, Keep on having a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.